Hello, everyone. Welcome to this evening. Uh, so if you come and join me, please say hello and uh, welcome, everyone. So uh, say where you're joining from and uh, connect in. So looking forward to a beautiful evening with you. Uh, so before I get started, uh, you probably have seen on my post um, and maybe know that my uh, friend Sylvia from South Carolina passed away tragically. And uh, really what I want to mention here is um, um, if you want to hear her story, I uh, told her story inside my um, private group, uh, Silk is Art Community. So um, if you're curious, join me there. And if any of Sylvia's friends are joining here tonight, then hi. And um, if you still have any contributions, because I do want to put a video together for her, um, please, um, if you can contribute that by tonight, because I need to go ahead and create the video. Um, her memorial service will be this weekend in South Carolina. Um, yeah, so, and if any woman um, is in a situation, hi, Gina, <laughs> welcome. And if any woman is in a situation in of some kind of domestic violence, uh, please reach out, you know, this, this does not need to end this way. And so please go ahead and reach out to friends and family and listen to them most of all, because um, yeah, I don't want any of this to happen to any other woman. Um, so without further ado, let me go ahead and get started and connect in with the beautiful energy of the angels that is always available to us and always guiding us. So thank you, Tina, so much for joining us. And if anyone else is starting to come in, and again, if you're watching from uh, my Silkes Art community, please come on over to my Silkes Art page. And if you're watching on my private page, which I should have shared, which it should have worked, then please come on over there as well. Um, so yeah, join me live on Silkes are tonight. And um, so a lot of you picked card number three, which is really interesting. <laughs> and in case you don't know me, my name is Silke, and uh, I'm an energy healer and artist and uh, many other things. And at this point, my main focus um, does focus on women. Uh, but of course, in my healing sessions, I have women and men um, that um, come and see me for sessions uh, long distance and also via Zoom. Hi, Belinda. Thank Thank you so much for joining me this evening and uh, so yeah I do long distance sessions I do in-person sessions and then of course teach in-person classes and then my online membership beauty flourishing which is currently open and I'll tell you a little bit more about it here in a little bit um, so yeah overall um, really growing and learning and uh, really at this point I'm in service um, to be of service for anyone that I can support and that I can help uh, through the flow of their life and to help them expand and grow and uh, on their spiritual path. So that is kind of my journey at this moment uh, with everything that I do. So thank you all for supporting me in that and uh, thank you for the honor of allowing me to support you as well on your journey. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with our intuitive play tonight. We're also gonna be doing a drawing tonight too. So uh, Belinda, Gina, um, let's see, Gina, I'm not sure if you shared anything, uh, and I don't know if uh, your name is in here, but I know Belinda's is in because she had messaged me that she had, um, she shared um, my, she invited, <laughs> if I could speak tonight, she invited a friend of hers to my Silk Art community. So yeah, whenever you invite someone um, either to my community to come and join, or if you share like this post right now, like this Facebook Live, if you go ahead and share this right now on your personal page, for example, then you can also, um, uh, fill out the um, form. Well, it's not really filling out the form, but all you have to do is just enter your name um, on my um, form that I have in my Silk Art community, and you'll be automatically entered as well. So here is my my thing with the names in it, and we're going to be drawing that the winner for a 30 minute reading with me here in a little while. All right. So the intuitive play tonight. So we're doing the Angel Blessings cards by Kimberly Marooney again tonight. I absolutely love and adore her cards. They're just so beautiful. And um, and so, yeah, I want to go ahead and uh, get going with that. So anyone else who's joining now, I see several of you are on. So please say hi. Hi, Heather. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for joining me. And again, thank you, Tina. Thank you, Belinda. And who else is here that's joining? So please come and say hi. And uh, also let us know where you're joining from as well. So uh, again, a lot of you picked card number three this time, but we're going to go ahead and get started with card number one. OK, so card number one is Sandalphon. And um, it is power. 
Carmen, hi. Wow, you're joining from the UK, so <laughs> thank you. Belinda, hi. <laughs> so good to see you all. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, Sandalfon power tonight. And um, Sandalfon is one of the seraphims. And um, again, let me show you the card here one more time, actually. And um, it's about uh, overseeing, um, he oversees the powers that have been given to the seraphim, by the way. And uh, it's all about uh, abundance and strength and beauty. And um, it's really about us harnessing our own power that we have within and about the joy of living that we can embrace, you know, if we choose to. It's about clearing away any of the fears and that we might still carry, especially, you know, so much we're more afraid of, um, of our own light still, you know, and of really allowing our own light to shine. And so we hold back because of fears, of fears of being seen, of fears of being accepted, and of really the fear of stepping into our own power. And I can relate to this, you know, especially as I'm stepping more and more into this online space. And, um, you know, for me, it took me a minute to actually publicly go on my page here, <laughs> just because, you know, it feels a little bit more vulnerable. And uh, I'm glad I did. And uh, it already feels uh, very home and it feels wonderful. And thank you for all of you, you know, for so graciously um, encouraging me and also supporting me in that. So it means a lot. And so, yeah, it's really about us clearing away any limitations, any fears that we might still feel and letting go of those fears and accepting ourselves, accepting our own wisdom that we know we have inside of us. And then maybe even if you find that there is some forgiveness that you need to do for yourself, letting that go as well, you know, and shedding those layers and, you know, seeing if, if you find you have like a block, for example, then check your block and see what's coming up. And this has kind of been a theme <laughs> here lately uh, with another friend of mine as well and a group that I'm in that she is in as well and that she encourages everyone too to kind of step up you know step up their game and it's like it's okay you know let yourself be seen and uh, and clear any blocks that you might still feel and for all of us they show up in different forms in our life obviously so you know if you've picked card number one just kind of look and see um, what limitations what blocks you might have in order for you to step into your full power and then and the best thing is always come from a place of so if I was already in my full power what would that look like and how would I act you know if that was already the case and then step into that and collapse time and space and forward into that present moment and step into it now and then see how you would operate differently when you come from that space. So again, Sandalfon is inviting you to embrace that, embrace your own power, embrace your strength and let go of any self-imposed limitations that you might still carry. Okay, so now card number two. Who picked card number two? So Belinda said she picked two. And uh, what about the rest of you? What cards did you pick? Please go ahead and let me know. Like I said, a lot of uh, a lot of um, you picked card number three this time. So can't wait to share that with you. Okay, and card number two is Nathaniel, fire energy. <laughs> so Nathaniel means gift of God. And, oh, Tina said she loves this card. Oh, <laughs> Belinda said she picked card number three. Cool. So, uh, gift of cards. So, the so this card is about tra transfer. <laughs> Heather said she picked card number three as well. <laughs> so, it's, um, so, the fire energy, you know, what does fire do? I mean, obviously, it provides us with everything that we have. And everything in our universe now functions through fire and makes our life so convenient. But it also has the transformative energies. And Carmen picked <laughs> card number three as well. <laughs> so, fire has those transformative transformative energies for us to burn away old things and to let go of stuff. So really, uh, you know, already, uh, if you want to look at uh, <laughs> Gina also on card number three. <laughs> so it's so interesting tonight, like the combination of the cards, how it all kind of comes together. Hi, Cindy, welcome. <laughs> so glad to see you. Let us know what card you picked as well. <laughs> so yeah, so it's so interesting how everything relates as far as stepping into our own power with card number one with Sandalfon. And now, 
with Nathaniel, again, you know, letting go of any anything. So with Sandalphon, as far as stepping into power, it was more about letting go of any self um self-manipulating patterns and any self-imposed restrictions that we place on ourselves. Where now with Nathaniel, it's more about burning away, you know, and uh, anything that's limiting us, uh, anything that's that disconnects us from our higher self. Uh, hi, Liberata, welcome. Liberata said she picked card number two. Okay, so if you're just joining, let me go ahead and show you real quick. So, and Cindy picked card number two as well, cool. So this is Nathaniel and fire energy so this is card number two tonight and um so yeah it's about like i said the transformative energies that fire has of burning away burdens of burning away um that separation that we might still feel between our higher self between our higher guidance and um allowing that pure connection to come in so it's a very powerful energy tonight overall as far as the energies of the angels and what came up tonight and you know it's also about letting go of that imprisonment of illusion that we might still carry that there is some disconnect and just again collapsing that time and space you know collapsing it on a vertical basis as well and uh just allowing the self-imposed limitations that we might still have and carry in any form to just be dissolved away so we can settle into that pure divine connection and just have that in our heart and uh, connect in so yeah please let me know if you can relate to that in any form or shape would be interested in getting your feedback and um next one is card number three Three. Okay, so a lot of you <laughs> again picked card number three. <laughs> that was kind of the main card that was picked for tonight. And card number three is Servio, and it is Courage. And Servio is one of the golden light angels. And um, and it's about the courage and about the strength to know when we need to still hang on and then also the courage and strength to know when it's time to let go in order for us to expand our awareness and you know many times you know of course there's that saying that you that we won't change until the fear of the same is more than the fear of of what's coming or what's going to be new and you know that's so true um because we tend to just go with what's familiar and what we know and so this card really encourages you as far as the courage is to step away from things that are no longer serving you that are not healthy for you and also um, it could be anything. Uh, it could also be patterns to to release patterns and allow those to fall away as well, and just to surrender and be more in that flow of life and embrace the magic and the miracles, and um, you know allow that transformation to take place. Allow the courage. Let's see. Allow the courage for for anything new to come in and for that transformation to take place. Let's see. Liberada is saying. I had dreams of a tornado yesterday and I was pretty scared with what I saw and about disconnect is what I did feel. Yeah, thank you. I need to reflect on that card more. You are so welcome. Yeah, that was pretty rough last night for sure. Um, yeah, honestly, I didn't really fall asleep until 4 a.m. this morning just because the energy of the full moon, of course, too. Um, you know, last night, I mean, it was technically yesterday morning, but, you know, that energy still carries. Um, and it's actually still a pretty strong energy that I'm feeling today as well. So, yeah, that full moon yesterday and then the storm coming through here in Clarksville, that was pretty intense. And, of course, not just in Clarksville, but the tropical storm in general. So, yeah, that was pretty powerful energy. And uh, Carmen is saying, thank you. This has been very helpful. Thank you for being up, Carmen. I appreciate it. <laughs> are you just going to sleep or are you getting up? Um, because Carmen joins, joins us from the UK. So <laughs> I'm curious <laughs> to hear. Um, so, yeah. So the way all three of these cards come together again tonight, it's pretty easy. And I think, you know, for me, it might have had to do some with the energy when I picked it too, as far as what I was feeling for my friend as well. Um, but it is about, you know, so I'm going to show you all again. It is about stepping into our own power allowing that to really settle in trusting that you know trust that in your gut trust your gut feeling and allow yourself to step into your power allow that transformation of fire energy to take place and let go of any self-imposed limitations that you might feel and step up 
into being courageous, into that courage, and step up into that courage of your life, of whatever it is that you need to shift out, recognize, go with your gut feeling and recognize what it is that you need to let go of, that you need to shift out of. And Heather is saying, wow, that card resonates with me. I'm just going to read it quietly here. <laughs> then I'm come home. So cool. Congratulations, Heather. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling, by the way? Let me see. I've been scared. Okay. Yeah, I sent you healing energy. So, and I know uh, everyone in Beauty Flourishing did too. And uh, you said yesterday you're feeling better. So please let us know, let us know how you're doing today. Okay. Okay, so yeah, how are you feeling? Is your temperature still down now? And are you starting to feel better? And then let's see, Gina was saying, how fitting I can honestly relate to all three of these cards. This is such a view. Oh, you're so welcome, Gina. Yeah, this is again, you know, I always say that, but um, uh, of course, one card is going to be always the more dominant for you and usually the one you do pick because your intuition is right on. Um, but then also all three, because you're here for the reading, of course, all three will always relate as well. And Carmen is saying she's just going to sleep. Good night. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it, Carmen. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I wanted to share with you, um, especially for Carmen as well, because I know she was uh, asking <laughs> and uh, several other of you have asked to about beauty flourishing if I could leave it open for a couple extra days especially past payday as well and uh, so let me see what Heather is saying here let's see I'm feeling better still having okay temperature good okay so Okay, good. I'm so glad that your temperature is down to normal. That's a good sign. Great. You're you're so welcome and um, uh, yeah, so several of you asked, and so I keep I will keep Beauty Flourishing open until um, June 3rd. Uh, I think I put it down for 9 p.m. or so. Um, I will be in North Carolina at the time, but um, I will attempt to close it after that. And um, uh, yeah, I also made a video that you can see on this page here about uh, what it's like inside Beauty Flourishing, inside the program, so you kind of get a feeling for what you're getting, because uh, I feel like that was kind of missing for you know most of you where it's like well what exactly is it so this will give you a little bit of an insight and then also if you go to the sign up page I put it on the bottom or not on the bottom but somewhere in the middle in there too where you can view it as well so I hope that gives you some insight and if you have any other questions you know you can always uh, private message me and ask me about it but obviously I would love for all of you to join of course Heather is already a member hi Lindy Lindy is already a member in Beauty Flourishing they've been in Beauty Flourishing since day one so yeah thank you and and um, yeah, so come and join. Um, would love to. Cindy, of course, is also in Beauty Flourishing also since day one and would love for all of you to be part of this beautiful membership. Again, it's so enriching and there's so much there for you and just the beautiful community is so wonderful as well. And everybody supports, you, supports each other and shares with each other and absolutely love it. And uh, then also wanted to mention to you, uh, I am going to host uh, my Archangels of the Elements workshop uh, that's live here uh, at, at my home on the 23rd and 24th of June. So uh, Let's see. Oh, it's Lindy saying she is a member and she loves it. Thank you. <laughs> and um, and so yeah, come come and sign up. Um, it's on my website. I don't really have it posted anywhere else at the moment. But if you look on my website and then go to the classes, then uh, you'll see it there. And Heather is saying, "I love beauty flourishing. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I love you, ladies. <laughs> and uh, let's see. So yes, that's right. I almost um, was almost going to forget, but the biggest part for tonight is that I am going to be doing your drawing now. So here are the names of the people who were on the list who said that they've either shared a post from me on my page here. So if you will go ahead and sh click share for um, this live right now on your page, then you already qualify. Anything else that you share from my Silkes art page or anywhere else, you know, from me, uh, just go ahead and put yourself down on that list on the document inside my Silkes art community. And um, if you're inviting anyone into Silkes art community, same thing, just go ahead and put your name in there. And uh, whoever's name is on that list is always included in here. So. I'm going to go ahead and I know Carmen won before, so I'm going to go ahead and 
whoops, was one person fell out. So, all right. <laughs> okay, so this one fell out. So let's see who that is. We're going to go with this person right here. Okay, let's see. Dasha. So let me go ahead and show you. Dasha is not joining us live tonight. Uh, so Dasha, if you are seeing this, you have 48 hours. So let me put this right here. Um, you have 48 hours from now to go ahead and contact me. Let me know that you want a 30 minute reading with me. So um, you've never had a reading with me. So it would be a, um, a numerology reading um, for your birth date. And uh, so yeah, contact me, Dasha, and let me know that you saw this and that you would like to redeem uh, your reading. So uh, all you have to do is contact me within 48 hours and then you'll have time after that. So yeah. Um, okay, I think that is it, ladies, and I'll see several of you over in Beauty Flourishing, and if any of you decide to join Beauty Flourishing right now, then you can still make it over into Beauty Flourishing by 7 p.m. as well, so I always come on here, and then at 7 p.m. I go into Beauty Flourishing, my membership, and, um, and uh, do a special thing there every day and uh, every time. And it's different. You know, sometimes we do card readings here this past month. It's been a card reading pretty much every time just because we've been playing in the energy of the fairies. Um, last week, I actually did uh, a different kind of card reading with flower essence cards that I had created. And I can actually show you. And uh, these are part of the membership. So if you join the membership, by the way, you get a PDF for these where you can create these yourself. These, this is something I made when I was learning flower essences. And and for me, it just made it very convenient um, to learn flower essences this way rather than having to go through books. So I went through books and kind of looked at, you know, what, what's the quality of each flower essence. And um, so, yeah, so this was the last, the latest teaching that I put in there. The spiritual teaching was to share about flower essences. And um, and so as part of it, I actually did on the last Facebook Live, Inside Beauty Flourishing, I went ahead and did a reading with these cards because, you know, it doesn't really matter what you use. And uh, so I did a reading for several of, of you. And uh, tonight it's going to be a full moon meditation. So I'm looking forward to that and look forward to seeing some of you in Beauty Flourishing. We already have several members that joined uh, this month. And so I'm really excited about uh, welcoming you all in and looking forward to it. And in the meantime, keep joining me uh, for anything that I'm doing inside my Silgis Art community. Um, I will do more lives there as well. And I plan on teaching more mini master classes as well, like two hour classes that you can sign up for. That'll be Zoom call classes uh, outside of Beauty Flourishing just um, to get started and teach uh, smaller modalities, you know, as far as like energy clearing or the, um, the directions and just uh, setting sacred space and just all kinds of things so any ideas that you might have as well anything that you would love for me to teach you go ahead and um, put it either here in the comments or in the group I am gonna go ahead and start a document as well um, so this way you guys can let me know what you would like to see and um, it's not they're not gonna be they're not gonna cost much and you'll have uh, lifetime access to them because I will go ahead and create uh, a page for them where they're going on and so if you join live then you'll have access but you would also be able to buy them later on as well so that's my plan for the moment and um, again thank you ladies so much for joining this evening I appreciate and love all of you and thank you so much and namaste you have a good evening